Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirani here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Welcome back. Today, I wanted to share with you just a quick and easy yoga series that I sort of nicknamed yoga in street clothes, but my idea for it is really more of either office yoga, so a quick little way to incorporate yoga into your day so that you can you know, maybe take a lunchtime break, get a little stretching in, or it could even be for someone who is fairly sedentary, wanting to do a little bit of movement, but kind of gets stopped by the thought of having to change into yoga clothes or exercise clothes or sign up and go to a class. It's a simple way to simply do a little bit of yoga as you are wearing the clothes you're wearing, whether you're at home, working around the house, whether you're in an office area, this is a quick and easy yoga sequence just for you. We are going to start with a few standing poses, the first being mountain pose. This is like the quintessential yoga pose, or one of them I should say, but it doesn't look like much, but it is truly important to gaining stability and strength in your body. In mountain pose, we simply stand with intention. We line up our body so that we're in nice, perfect alignment. True north alignment is what we call it in yoga. But we make sure that our ankles are underneath our knees, which are underneath our hips. We make sure our shoulders are over our hips and our head is centered over our shoulders. So we're not leaning forward or back or off to the side. We are straight from the tip of our head to our heels. And then we begin to make just some slight alterations to this pose. So maybe tuck your tailbone in just a little bit, press down through your feet, lift up through the crown so you're a little bit taller. Activate your thighs, your quads, like you're trying to lift your kneecaps up and then squeeze your belly in from all directions. Lift the chest slightly, lift the crown of the head, activate the arms so your hands are active, your arms are active. This looks like you're just standing here but every muscle of your body is activated and you are aware of the alignment of your skeleton and you're squeezing your muscles in like you're trying to squeeze your skeleton with your muscles. This pose brings stability, a little bit of strength to the muscles. It gets us standing up nice and straight when so often we tend to like kick a hip out or slouch just standing with intention. We take a nice big deep breath here, inhale in, and as you exhale, sit your hips back and bring your arms up, coming into chair pose. So you guessed it, you're moving as if you're going to sit in a chair, but you don't. Your arms can either reach up and forward, or you can bring them to prayer pose at your chest, whatever is most comfortable. Think of your knees, pay attention to where they are, trying to bring them back behind your toes. And you can take this pose as deep as you want. You can keep your chair fairly lifted. You can sit down in one of those little chairs that they have in elementary school. It's up to you. The deeper you sit, the more you're working the muscles of your legs. And then from here, you're gonna sort of pitch yourself forward and reach for the floor, coming into a forward fold. Now in a forward fold, we think of keeping a nice gentle bend in our knees so that our belly is coming towards and maybe even hopefully in contact with our thighs. So if you have to take a deep bend in your knees so that you can touch your belly to your thighs, go ahead and do that. That is perfectly acceptable. Think of just allowing your torso to hang, letting gravity sort of use the weight of your skull to bring space to your spine. Hopefully you feel a little openness happening in your low back. And then just allow yourself to hang here and breathe, keeping your belly against your thighs. Maybe you can straighten your legs a little bit more. Maybe not. You don't have to push it. You just want to hang here, stretch the hamstrings, stretch the low back, bring space to the spine. 
up a nice deep bend in your knees. Inhale, rise all the way back up to standing upright. Bring your hands to heart center. Another quintessential yoga pose is tree. And this is just a balancing pose. Take it as far as you want, also keeping in mind your environment. So if you are in an office, you might not go to a full bore foot on the thigh. And as a rule, I never do that anyways, but it's just balancing. So bring your weight into your left foot, bring your right foot sort of to a kickstand. You can stay right here, pressing your hands together. Or if you want to take it a little further, slide your right foot up onto your calf muscle. Simply avoid the knee. That's the only rule here. And then I like to stay here, pressing my hands together. And if you're in an office and someone might see you over a cubicle wall, this might be where you choose to stay. But you can also grow your branches, lifting your arms up. You can come into cactus arms. The arm position is your choice. Take a big breath. As you exhale, bring your hands back to center if you had them lifted. Drop the foot, march it out, and we're gonna come into tree on the other side. To really press down into your right foot, lift up through the hips, up through the crown, so you're nice and tall. Left foot comes into kickstand. Take a breath. Find something to stare at, to focus on, to keep your balance. Raise that foot up if you want, up onto your calf muscle. And again, you can keep your hands here or grow your branches in the same direction, other direction. Again, your choice. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your hands back together. Drop the foot, march it out. And next, we're gonna switch to a few seated poses. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to click the like button. I also ask that if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button as well so that you never miss a future video. So let's move to a chair for a few seated poses. If you're in an office area and all you have is a chair with wheels, you can make do with that. Maybe just place the back of it up against the desk so you don't have to worry about it moving away on you. If you can find a chair without wheels, that's even better. If you can find one without arms, that is even, even better. We're gonna start with cat-cow. So just sit up on the very edge of your chair. Take a breath in. As you exhale, roll yourself forward, coming into cat. So just put in a nice arc in the spine. And then as you inhale, Press your chest and your belly forward. Let your shoulders and your head roll back. Coming into cow. Exhale. Maybe bring your hands forward. Pressing the back. Back. <laughs> Inhale. Come back to cow. Exhale. Arch back to cat. You're making a curved C shape. So your hips sort of bend under or curve under and then they curve back with the cow. Just do that a couple times. Feel how nice that feels on your spine. And then come back to a neutral spine. Sitting here straight up and down. Keep your right hand on your right knee. Lift your left arm up into the air and then just bring it back behind you as you twist back to look over your shoulder. I'm going to do just a gentle twist. Keeping flexibility and movement to the spine keeps us young. Take a couple breaths here. Try to soften your belly. Inhale. Exhale, untwist, and then we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your arm behind as you twist to look over your right shoulder. A 
again, softening the belly, tuning into the breath. Take a breath in. Exhale, come back to center. And lastly, we're going to do eagle arms, which is just a nice stretch to the shoulders, especially useful after you've been working at a computer or if you've been just doing anything where you need a little stretch in your shoulders. Extend your arms out to the side so you, your body's making a big giant T. Your arms are the cross, crossing your T. And then bring them together. Let your right arm go underneath your left. Try to place your elbows together. Line your hands up. And here the idea is if you can to reach all your hands all the way around, but you can do other options. Just pause where it feels good. You don't want to stretch the shoulders too much. Again, this should feel good. If it doesn't feel good, back off. Maybe lift your elbows up a little bit. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release out, shake the arms off. And we're just gonna do that to the other side. So arms out. And this time as you bring them in, bring the left arm under. Twist your arms together. Lift your elbows up. Inhale. Exhale. Undo your arms. And then we're just going to take a moment for relaxation. So just sit here in a comfortable position, your spine upright, nice and straight, your shoulders relaxed down. Close your eyes, relax the muscles of your face, your shoulders, your arms. Relax your belly, let any tension drain out of your low back and your hips. Relax your legs and your feet. And then I invite you to simply sit here and take five just relaxing breaths. You don't have to make them too deep. Just keep the belly soft so that the breath flows into the belly and then gently just releases out. And then when you've completed your five breaths, just gently open up your eyes and continue with your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny yoga practice, yoga in street clothes, office yoga, whatever you want to call it. I hope you will incorporate this into your day. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.